So in today's video, I wanted to discuss something that I know a lot of people are talking about right now, and I wanted to just put my two pence in and let you guys know what I was thinking. Okay, so of course what I'm talking about is interior design and home decor trends for 2023. So the first thing that a lot of people are talking about and as they do every year is colour and paint colours in particular. So I know a lot of different brands release their colours basically six months ago for this year. However, a lot of what I'm seeing across the board is really warm sunset hues, a continuation of last year with lots of greens and muted neutrals and a lot more brown which if you followed me for a while is very, very good for me because I am a big, big lover of brown and those muddier tones that have a slightly muted undertone. Something else that's gonna be really, really popular this year is pastel tones. I know that over the last year, two years, more jewel tones have been back in fashion with bright emerald greens, deep blues, reds, pinks, and much richer colors have kind of taken over from that gray palette that we knew and loved, most of us, about 10 years ago. But this year we're gonna be seeing a lot more pastel colors, more muted down versions of those colors. So think French greys, mouse's back, olives, kind of deep sunset hues and I am really really here for it. I'm really looking forward to seeing lots more moody interiors and things that feel slightly more heritage and contemporary at the same time. I think a lot of colours will also be inspired by nature this year, so those kind of muted, more earthy colours that you see outside your home. So, for example, if like me, you live in the countryside, in a cottage, you might be inspired by more of those foresty, earthy colours like soily browns, Cotswold stone, soft blue skies, all of those kind of cool neutrals. If you live by the beach, those rich blue colours, but more with the muted undertone, I think slightly less harsh and false as they have been in the past. I also have a feeling from what I've been seeing that yellow is going to be quite big this year. So not like a stark, stark yellow, but that buttery honey kind of yellow with lots of oranges, sunset colours, moving into browns and greens as well. So also a little bit 70s inspired, which I know has been going on for the last few years, but I think that colour palette is really going to make its way into everyday decor. A lot of the high street brands are going to start selling accessories and styling pieces in those colours and I think they'll be really usable in most interior design schemes. The next thing that is less a trend but more something that's continuing to take people's interest and to guide people's design choices is going to be the consideration for sustainability in interiors. This has basically been mentioned in so many PR exhibitions, brands talking about their plans for the next year, but for obvious reasons, a lot of people are thinking about what they can do to be more sustainable, to upcycle their existing pieces, to add a splash of color to an unloved piece of furniture they already own, reupholstering, all of those kinds of things are gonna dominate the design world this year. There are loads of ways that you can consider sustainability in your home from those things I just mentioned or things like shopping secondhand, shopping online on Facebook Marketplace, speaking to antique dealers, and also just buying much less. I know that I do some homeware hauls and talk about different kinds of brands on this channel to inspire you, but I am trying to be much better this year at only buying things I really love and that I think will stand the test of time. So I also think with that movement into being even more sustainable and green thinking, a lot of interior designers and also residential homeowners, customers, everyone basically is going to be using a lot more texture a lot more rustic looking furniture in their home basically in an effort to be sustainable 
and the two kind of go hand in hand. So as more and more people are using reclaimed, reused and recycled furniture and home decor items in their houses, that's gonna become even more fashionable. So it's good on your purse strings, it's good to the planet and it will be very, very fashionable as well. Moving on to more of the trends in soft furnishings, I think that pattern clashing is going to be massive this year and again this is something that can work in all types of interiors and different rooms and aesthetics so whether you have a country cottage, a London apartment, a big Californian home I think there's always going to be somewhere that you can use different patterns to clash each other and whether that's in wallpapers and curtains or something as simple as a couple of different contrasting cushions on a muted background. I think it's going to be really, really big this year and it will be a good idea to hop on to that trend now because that one will definitely stand the test of time and it also encourages you to just buy each piece that you love and not be too repetitive because essentially the more they clash, the better they look. <laughs> I actually just want to jump in here and say that a lot of these aren't necessarily short-term trends, so I'm not talking about specific types of vases, specific plants, an exact paint colour, more some things that you can be doing in your home to keep up with the fashion, but as always I really suggest just doing what you love in your home and really really have conviction in those decisions because essentially that will be more timeless to you and work with your lifestyle and aesthetic that's what I've done here and I'm not planning on changing loads of things just to follow trends that actually moves on quite nicely into the next area that I want to talk about which is this country cottage core aesthetic which I think is really really going to continue into 2023 and beyond so this isn't owning a cottage, this isn't living in the British countryside, but this is just being inspired by a lot of the materials you might find there and also that visual aesthetic that you might have seen in a cottage or very traditionally British interior years and years ago. I know that this is something that's actually been quite big in America for a couple of years and has slowly been coming back to the UK, but that sort of craving for twee, quite cosy, dark, British interiors is back and I am loving it. Obviously I live in a cottage so the more dark, cosy, moody colours I can get in is great but this trend is really all about layering different textiles, books, brass accents, gold accents, really warm and cosy interiors where you don't actually have to think too much about what you're doing. And I know that sounds a bit bold coming from someone who designs schemes for a living. However, you can really just go with this yourself and have fun layering linens with cottons, tweeds, wools in tartans, ginghams, florals, just really layer things up and have a play with your home and move things around from room to room and that again ties back in with those warm colours and with the living more sustainably because you can just add to your interior as time goes on, you don't need to get rid of things, you can embrace that rustic heritage texture and yeah, I mean I'm sure you can tell with me talking about it but I absolutely love love that style. Hopefully you've seen some inspiration images popping up over the screen but I think that's going to be really big in 2023 and beyond and if you love films like The Holiday, Love Actually, It's Complicated, then you're going to love this style and you should yeah, start embracing it. Start buying copper pans now because they're going to skyrocket in value. <laughs> Moving on from that, something that has been here for a year or so, maybe even longer with very, very big world famous designers is wood panelling and I think that is going to stay this year as well. So this is essentially raw oak panelling that's maybe tr been treated that's maybe been treated with stain or a varnish to bring out the grain and the richness. And I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more of that in kitchens, bathrooms, ceilings, 
all over this year and even though for some people that feels a bit 70s i do think in the right setting it can look really really beautiful especially when paired with either earthy deep colors or clean white neutrals then the last thing that i really want to talk about on here is lighting because i know that lower level lighting is making a big comeback right now and i know again it has been for years but the obsession with lamps, with architectural lighting in cupboards, from kitchen units, all of that stuff is gonna be massive in 2023. And I think a lot of people are even employing lighting designers instead of interior designers this year to help come up with a lighting scheme that feels cozy, comfortable, having sockets in the right places in the room to be able to light your rooms properly. And this one is one that makes the biggest, biggest difference in interiors, but is one that I think is gonna be big. So a lot of brass wall lights, a lot of table lamps, floor lamps, chandeliers all of that kind of stuff is going to be massive this year so hopefully that gave you a really good idea of some of the trends that are going to be coming up into 2023 and like i said that's not bible that's just kind of carrying on from trends that have been coming through over the past few years and me looking through magazines and speaking to clients and looking at other designers work but in summary i definitely think there is going to be a movement away from those sage colors more into the muddy greens the muddy oranges the peach the pastels getting away from two white and two clean neutrals and going for more of a heritage layered pattern sustainable aesthetic which i am so so here for this year if you did enjoy today's video please make sure you subscribe to my channel i upload weekly videos where i share new homeware hauls interior design trends room makeovers and life from our little cottage thank you so much for watching guys and catch you soon Bye.